Warriors. It's your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as the Purpose Warrior. Glory be to God in Jesus' name. Really quick, I just want to share this word that the Father dropped in my spirit as I was on my way into my assignment today. What I heard the Father say is this move is on me. This move is on me and I am footing the whole entire bill. This isn't going to be a blessing that you are going to be able to track your bank account, what's in your hands, what somebody else gives you. This is going to be supernatural in Jesus name. The father is saying he's going to reward you openly and publicly. The father, this word is for a warrior listening who already knows the value of the word of the Most High God. This word is for the warrior who has already been seeing the Father speak through them, speak through journal entries, speak through recording, speak through videos, things that has been documented for you, warrior, to know that the Father is on your side, for you, warrior, to know that the Father does see you, he hears you, and you hear him in Jesus' name. So you're already wealthy spiritually, and you come into this spiritual wealth because of a physical stripping that you had to endure, a pruning process that you had to withstand. You've had to look discomfort in the face and still stand on your faith. You've had to see physical things be taken away from you, stripped away from you and still stand on your faith. You've had to see others go up on high while it looked like you were going down on low and still stand on your faith. But you did it because you've seen the value, the spiritual value in your communication with the Father. And when you heard him say in his word time and time and time and time again that those who wait on the Lord are never put to shame, you believed him. And this year has flown by, even though it's been a difficult year for who I'm speaking to. This year has flown by and the father was showing me that's because of his promise to his children in Isaiah 40 verse 31. And I'm paraphrasing. But the scripture says those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. See, time was sped up on your behalf, warrior, this year. Because the father knew he needed you to get to the end of this thing. He knew he was wrapping things up in this year for you. And it's not too late. He knew that he was cutting every evil and wicked cord. He knew that he was putting the finishing touches on his glory story that he was producing through you. He knew he was closing it out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And his eyes have been upon your land from the beginning of the year, even to the end. And there's still time. The father saying this one is on him. He's going to cut the check. He's going to foot the bill. And the other scripture I heard in my spirit was Deuteronomy 6. And I believe it's 10 through 11. I'm paraphrasing again, but I will put the addresses in the description box so you can search them out. But there's a scripture that says that he will give you lands that your hands did not buy. House is full of all good things that your hands didn't fill. Hone out wells that your hands didn't dig. Olive trees that your hands didn't plant. When you have eaten and are full, beware unless you forget the Lord your God. He's saying he finna put it on you so tough. That you got to be careful not to forget who did it because you've been in a place of discomfort and you're entering into a place of comfort. He doesn't want you to forget who did it for you. 
He wants you to remember your witness and share it with your children and share it with those who come across your path. Yesterday on my way home, all I kept hearing was comforts, 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 comforts. Four times, comforts, 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 comforts. That old cycle has already ended. And the father saying this one is on him. This one is on him. Won't nobody be able to take glory from your story because you are his and he is yours and his glory has already risen upon you. So prepare yourself, stretch out your expectation, lift up your hope in Jesus name, because the father is saying, you're going to see it. And it's still time in this year. In Jesus name, I love you warriors. I don't know who this word is for, but I receive this word by faith for myself. In Jesus name. And I just pray that it blesses you in your spirit and here on earth. That you keep your hopes up high. That you stay walking by faith and not by sight. That you continue to expect your father to move the mountains that have tried to block your view, that you continue to expect your father to do a supernatural move on your behalf, with on your behalf and those attached to you in Jesus' name. It's time to come up a little bit higher in Jesus' name. And I just pray that your heart receives that as truth. I love you, warriors. I'm praying for each and every one of you. I welcome all the new subscribers. I'm sending major love to my OG warriors. If you are here today and this word has blessed you, I just ask that you plant the seed of a thumbs up, plant the seed of an amen in the comments, plant the seed of subscribing, plant the seed of hitting the bell, and plant the seed of sharing this word. Share, share, share. Help me get this word out into the atmosphere in Jesus' name. I love each and every one of you. I do not take any of the seeds that you sow into me in this ministry lightly. The ones you sow in heaven and the ones you sow here on earth. It's time to go up. We may be small on this channel, but glory to a good God. We are mighty in Jesus name. Boy, yes, it is time to mount up. I love you and I'll talk to you soon.